There it is. Back to work. We're getting back at it. It's happening again. The nightmare continues. And it's hot. It's still. A little tiny breeze just picked up. Fish are hitting the surface. Water's starting to come down a little bit. You can see the water line in the trees back there. It's been flooded all summer. High water all winter long. Hasn't dropped at all. I would say it's affecting the fishing, but I think uh, fish got to eat regardless. I can't overstate how good it is to put this Reflectix on the boat when you have to work on it in the summertime. It keeps that cabin just cool enough to, uh, to be able to work in constantly. This was a really good decision, and I'd suggest if you're going to be working on a boat in the summertime, do that. Excuse the mess, but we're in the middle of a refit here, and I figured this might be a good spot to stop and show you what the next steps are here. To get to this strip here, we gotta, we're got we going to have to cut that glass on this side. Let's see if you can see that. That, that whole lip right there has got to get cut. It's about 8 inches. And then all the wood replaced. We're taking all this flooring out. Look at this house flooring. My apologies to the previous owner of the boat for being rude about your flooring choice. But, uh, yeah, so we got house flooring and carpet strips on the hatches. And uh, you see we already started tearing it up. It's got to go. Whole thing has got to go. It's all going away. I got that guy with me. Get the vent in that whole box right there. That's all going side panels over the deck we need to get back there to the deck all the way to the hull so that's coming out and i'm not interested in putting it back i'm not interested in putting this panel back i'm not interested in keeping any of this stuff i'm not interested in any of this stuff either so it's all coming out and going away probably going to stop at that panel there i don't want to get into that just yet that's uh dealing with a whole bunch of other stuff over there ladies and gentlemen i promise you all the outlets gotta go I gotta go. Putting in uh, brand new outlets with uh, USB ports built into them. All right, so we got the panels, the lower panels, the flooring's up. Flooring's painted, you know, the plywood underneath is painted and the seams are covered with a tape. Got it swept out, cleaned out, stripped down to the bare, bare naked. These are the proper vent hoses for the boat. That's good, that's what we wanna see. These are dryer vents for the dryer in your home. That's not good. As you can see, we've taken so much stuff off of this boat that it's uh, come out of the water a good three inches. That exhaust pipe there used to sit right, right at water level. That's a lot of weight off the boat. It's day two, just after sunrise. And, uh, it's been so hot out that we can only work from about six o'clock in the morning until 11 or 12. Then it just gets unreal and you don't have any water left in your body no matter how much you drink. So what we gotta do is we gotta remove some plywood and this lip, as you can see going vertical there, is probably gonna have to get cut off. But in order to cut all this stuff out of the way, uh, we're gonna have to get behind this sink. Since the sink has been always slated to get cut out of here because I don't need a sink back here. I need a live well and I need a raw water wash down, but I don't need a down sink. Uh, this whole thing's getting cut out of here. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be the mission today. I'm gonna remove the sink. I don't know about taking the step out just yet because that's where all that, well, hell, we might as well just take it all out of there. Let's just take it all out, what do you say? See this repair that they made, all right? The real glass is cut away back there. You see that? And then this stuff is just run just to the face of it here instead of wrapping it around to make this a strong repair. So it's really not hard to take out of here. <laughs> That's the good thing about it. So, I mean, I just gave it a swift jerk <laughs> and uh, the whole thing came out so poor repair work bad form uh we're gonna get back down to the actual hollow boat here and we're gonna put it back together in our own image <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're gonna do all right so this whole thing is not good right here this whole situation is not good we suspected as much but the deck is indeed soft back there so 
basically the way we've got it figured is the start of the problems are out here where the ladder was and this spot here all these screws around this step this whole thing being caulked in holding water inside of the step i'm sure backing up on occasions depending on what the storm was like or what have you so we've got a massive section of flooring we have to replace and more than likely a big chunk of framing and uh it's gonna be a considerable project <laughs> no 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 oh god <laughs> No! Oh, no! No, no, no! Uh, looks like some uh, potential termite infestation here. Uh, oh, no. Having all this open, it's not going to see how the boat is really built. And you know what? I actually happen to be a competent carpenter, so I'm not scared of what has to be done next. I just don't want to do it in 100 degree heat. I, I got to tell you, I don't, I don't want any part of this but I'm gonna do it anyway. You can just watch me slowly die an agonizing death putting this boat back together. That hose is gonna need a little patch. A little, a little patch. <laughs> this is a tough project, there's no doubt about it. Um, I'm scared, you should be scared, we should all be scared. But I promise you, uh, we're gonna put this thing back together and it's actually gonna be something you wanna fish off of. <laughs>